Ian, um, you're part of a, fa a large extended family, aren't you? Tell me about that. We certainly are, or I certainly am. Uh, it's a large uh, leather family that's based in Sudbury. It um, extends uh, well into the United States. It extends over into Germany, uh, with most of the most of the uh, the members being primarily here in Toronto. Um, so uh, it's fairly extensive. Starts with a, a head of the family, or you know, master, master C, and then from there he has submissives. And it expands to three generations. So you have his direct reports, if you will, and then those who, who uh, you are involved with, with some of master's submissives. It sounds like a corporate structure, uh, <laughs> like I'm familiar with from banking. Is it anything like that? It, it sounds like it is not that bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Now you're from uh, Toronto? I'm uh, originally born in St. John's, Newfoundland, and, okay. and moved here to Toronto when I was fairly young. So I grew up really in the... the so, but you come to Toronto for fun sometimes? Pretty, yes. It's a fun city. Yeah? It's it's a great city to, mm. to visit for sure and we've got a lot going on. And, and it has an extended leather scene. It certainly does. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions because Positive Light is a site that deals in humor and we try and find the, we find the funny side of HIV and if you can find the funny side of AIDS and I suspect that leather, the leather scene has a funny side too because you guys you know it's clearly you have a serious side and you dress in black and I noticed that le the last BDSM uh, fabrication is very um, uh, serious looking. Uh, nobody's having fun there, but I think you probably do. Tell me about that. Yeah, so the 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 show me show, uh, show me the, show me the uh, which is, is a wonderful uh, resource, but it's pretty heavy. It is, it is, and the the images are, are quite dark and uh, very erotic. Um, you know, one, one of my friends said, hey, this is this is the safe sex guide that you could jack off to. It is. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's it's a great resource. Um, but you're, you're right. I mean, people have this image of leather being very dark and very, you know, you know masculine, it's, it's certainly within the gay community. And, you know, there, there's a lot of fun to be had. You know, if you're not laughing, you know, at some point in your journey, um, you know, then, then I don't, I don't want to say you're not doing it right. I mean, there, there are definitely times for, for laughter, for sure. But if, if you're laughing in a scene, does that kind of spoil things? Or It, it depends on the scene. Sometimes, sometimes you have to start can, again and add to it. And, you know, there, there's one scene I can think of where, where we were doing, I was doing a role play um, with, with my master, and I completely, I, I was overtired, and I was completely thinking of something else. And, and so he's continuing on with the scene, and I'm completely dropping every, every, you know, every cue that he's giving me. And uh, um, it, I was, I took it kind of badly at, at the start, but now I laugh about it absolutely because it's just funny how how it all turned out and what I'm, you know, misinterpreted in the scene. But you know, there's there's def definitely time for laughter. I mean, certainly within the the leather family dynamic, um, you know. We've got a number of different almost comedians in the family, you know, who who you know really spruce up, you know, the the family. So for for example, um, you know, Master has a, a pup called Trouble, and so I mean, you can think of all the all the innuendos that come with that. You know, Master's going to be in and out of trouble all the time. So so Good. you know, we certainly yeah. have. This some, is some this is there. what I suspected that you guys actually have a lot of fun amongst the, uh, the seriousness. I just want to ask you a question. Again, we are a positive side and you're a negative guy, uh, but clearly um, you interact sexually and otherwise with POS guys all the time. And I'm sure. curious how, how POS guys sort of integrate into the leather community. Um, I, I, would you say that they have any, any particular issues in terms of disclosure or or um, dating or, or, or I mean, there, there are a lot of the issues with with people who are postphobic. Um, one of the pens I have on my vest here is, is Mr. Friendly and that's uh, um, sort of a campaign that's going on in the Detroit area. I'm actually involved uh, a little bit in the Detroit area uh, myself having a former boy down there plus being involved with the Leather Leadership Conference. The um, but but uh, and, and so what this campaign is about is is promoting awareness of, of if you will mixed couples, those who are positive and negative together. Um, and uh, I mean, w when you're playing out in the bathhouse, certainly here in Toronto, um, one statistic is that 50% uh, of the loads, if, if you, you're someone who swallows, you know, 50% um, you are probably positive. Um, you know, and there are a lot of people who are out there who have not gotten themselves tested and, and you know, they just don't know what their status is. So, um, you know, th there are a lot of guys out there who are almost phobic, you know, you look at their profiles, they're saying, oh, I want someone who's disease and drug free, etc. And, and, you know, 
what they're, they're completely missing the fact that you you you're going to interact with positive people. Right. Um, so, so it's the same as the real the real world, really. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Within the leather family dynamic, you know, we don't discriminate uh, against someone who's positive right. and, and someone who. One, more, one last question, uh, and I asked Matthew this too. I'm interested in, in, in if the leather scene changes at all. Are you getting kinkier than you were? Uh, I, I certainly am myself. You personally? I'm, I'm personally Tell me about personally, that. Because you know, I'm, I'm st mm -hmm. it's a journey. Um, so there, there, are, uh, you know, as I said during the, the conference, you know, in 2000, 2001, you know, I was very like, oh, ew, that person's into you know, whatever they're into, mm -hmm. and and you know, meanwhile, what's really going on in my head is. Right. I'd like to explore that right. experience. Now, are you wearing a hanky today? I'm let me, not actually. Turn, turn around, I'm let me see. Oh, yeah, that's a good shot there. Uh, uh, why, uh, do people not wear can hankies anymore? Or? Uh, they do. Uh, I do carry. Actually, my hankies are down in my car right now. And what is your pet hanky? Uh, I wear. I, if I choose to wear them, or if my master wishes me to wear them, uh, definitely hunter green. Uh, that I is. To wear that that's something to do with older men, isn't uh, it? Daddy or boy? Are you looking for a daddy? Uh, well, I, I. I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think we should end on that that note. Ian, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.